I love the special boxes. I love the original boxes too, but when it's not an original colorway, this works out splendidly. Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we've got a detailed look and review on these bad boys right here. This is the Air Jordan 3 in the, I think they call them Midnight Navy, but the internet calls them Georgetown for obvious reasons. And with that being said, a quick word from our sponsor. Delivered by you. Yeah, I mean, you know, the YouTube thing, man. Anyhow, Soul Savvy is back with another sponsor for this video. So big thank you to everybody over at Soul Savvy for keeping the lights on over here because it helps out quite a bit. So what is Soul Savvy? Soul Savvy is a great community full of light like-minded individuals just like you and I that like to buy our sneakers and actually wear them. Not resell them, wear them. Strange concept today, I know. On top of all of that, they actually have sneaker monitors, which actually monitor every single retail site on the web, even the ones that you don't know about. And there's plenty of those because I find out about a new one almost every day and I can't believe it. I'm always stunned. And their monitors monitor all of them. So when something becomes available, they actually ping you as long as your notifications are turned on and you can click the link. It'll automatically add your size to cart and you can easily check out no questions asked. On top of all of that, they've built a great community full of these people that are just like us. They talk to each other. They have fun. They also help each other out. So if somebody gets something that you might've wanted, they'll either sell it to you for retail or they'll trade it to you for something that you might have that they want, like the good old days. So if all of this sounds awesome to you, then all you got to do is click the link in the description box below. It'll head you over to soulsavvy.com. You can sign up. Up, read more about it, all that kind of good stuff. So with that being said, something interesting about this release is that the description for these on the sneakers app actually tells you that this is like a PE, even though I don't think that this is exactly a PE because the PE was gray, not blue. It was like reversed of this. I actually like these more than the PE. Now, is there a PE like this somewhere out there? Maybe, I don't know, I haven't seen it. I think that this is cool, man. I think that they came out pretty good. There is a small variance between the left and the right. Once again, you know, that left shoe, right shoe factory, which is a joke, it's not a real thing. There is no variance. What do you mean? It's the same shoe slapped on an opposite sole. Meaning that they both point in the same direction. Yes. This toe down view is everything, bro, because this is what I see. This is what you see when you wear your shoes too. It sucks. But anywho, they actually say that this is a PE for the Georgetown school and stuff because Jordan Brand is a sponsor of that school, which is cool. A little missed opportunity for someone like Reebok where you actually had an athlete that went there. But you know, what do I know? Speaking of that shoe, the material quality alone, especially for the retail price, these guys right here retail for 190. These, I can't remember. They were like one. 130, 140, maybe 150. And just the leather alone and the suede, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, this brand really don't care. They just don't. And the, the material is not bad or anything. It's just not this material. That's the thing. Like this leather is noticeably softer. It's noticeably thicker cut. It's noticeably better than this stuff. But you know, the branding is everything apparently. So that's all that matters at this point to most people, not to me. I actually value what I buy, but a lot of people don't care anymore. Now this guy right here has the new shape or the old shape, depending on how you want to look at it. And I love the new shape slash old shape. It's closer to the original than any of the previous retros have been. So we got that thinner elephant print in the front, even though my uh, shoe is a little wonky on this side and everything, it still has got a nice slope to it. It's not all boxy and everything like the 2011 versions. The liner of the tongue is tucked behind the tongue itself and the tongue is just nice and smooth. I like that. Now there is no Nike Air on the back of these guys. It's not an original colorway. So you're gonna see that jump man. It's something that they used to do when Jordan brand was new, where original colorways had Nike Air branding to differentiate the difference between new and old products. So the new products or the new colorways look like this. The original products or the products that are new but telling an OG story will feature Nike Air branding typically. Except for those denims. Those featured both. I still don't know what to think about that. I still like, I like the way that it looks. It's just crazy that they did that. Now because there is no Nike Air branding on the shoe, there is no polyurethane insole in here. Threes I find to be comfortable as far as a neutral shoe goes. Like there's no cushion really. The midsole is stiff and all that stuff. But for someone like me, I actually prefer that nowadays. I'm not young anymore so the bouncy stuff ends up just kind of like wearing my legs out i don't know why the stiffer stuff like this i could just wear this all day no problem tech specs on the air jordan 3 also it's pretty dude it really is i love this thing i love the stars i love how the jordan tab is clean and all one color anymore and then moving on up we have a polyurethane midsole there's a visible air sole unit in the heel as well as an encapsulated one in the forefoot and like i said earlier the, the insole is garbage i do wish even though there's no og branding and stuff like why not just put a more comfortable insole in there like what's the point what really are you saving by doing that other than making it very confusing for people that buy your products being like why is this one more comfortable than this one or this like do you not understand what you're doing to your own brand man now, one thing that they can definitely work on and something that I would love to see in the future from Jordan Brand with the Air Jordan 3 is an OG elephant print. 
And I know that a lot of people don't notice this stuff. A lot of people prefer the way that this looks, but these thick ass cracked lines, that's not what it used to look like, man. They used to be super thin. They almost used to be non-existent, like some colorways, as soon as they were like worn and things like that, like the elephant print would kind of like fade away. But I would love to see that on these guys. I would just like to see the thinner cracks. Sometimes there are thin cracks on there. Mine don't have any, but like all of the elephant print is different. And so some of it might be very thin. A lot of people have actually had this happen where one shoe has like the nice thin stuff and the other shoe looks really bold and thick like this talking about left shoe right shoe issue so i would like to see that return but otherwise i think that the shoe overall is solid minus the, the lean the lean can't happen man like the insole is one thing put the shoe on straight though like at the least i'm paying 200 plus tax and shipping that's a lot of money now as far as sizing is concerned they do fit true to size so that's what i would recommend if you were interested in grabbing a pair also the materials on the upper like i was saying they're not comparable to the question obviously for some reason the reebok shoe is able to out you know do the jordan brand as far as quality is concerned but you know this is just a quality inspired product by one of the greatest players ever if not the goat oh. But if you grab the uh, the blue joints or the red joints, it's the same thing. So if you got either of those and you're wondering what this is like, it's just like that. Also, for my 190, they did provide me with some extra laces. I know, but they look way better with the white laces, man. I'm not even. That was the one thing when I pulled this one out. Like I was just like, damn, dude, the white laces really do make them pop. What do you think about these though? I know that these are kind of like your colors. Like this blue is not quite your blue, but the gray and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So like, do you? with this one like if you saw these in your size you'd be like hey babe <laughs> let me get a pair of those no not quite there but if i were to take a beloved character from our childhood and design from what, from what franchise is it <laughs> is this a human character or an it, he's a human character okay and he gets mentioned fairly enough around here here yeah i like to uh use a, his clips are we talking about tim allen yeah oh yeah so if i had to design a shoe colorway for him you think this is it him and his <laughs> detroit lions Oh, his I don't even. Home are the lions casual, this color? He would wear this gray sweatshirt that look, had the lions. Let me look it up real quick. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But back then, it wasn't like how today is on television, where every single episode, like nobody really ever wears the same clothes. But they recycled a lot of stuff back then. I disagree because I had this exact thought last night as you went to sleep, and I kept watching Beverly Hills 90210. I'm in season two, folks. Okay. They and rewear stuff. I know, but Brandon, that boy, for not being a, a rich Beverly Hills kid, got a new pair of Nikes every fucking episode, <laughs> and I'm just like, what the. F man like nobody <laughs> like him would have new shoes i don't or, think they're new they're just yo, set shoes nah, so man. they look new i watched him wear he's at least worn like four or five different nikes okay. so far anyways back to tim allen when he was on the show whenever he was like lounging around the house he had a specific sweatshirt that he would wear and it was gray with the blue lions oh. stamped on there that's the only reason that i know he's from michigan besides the fact that they would like say that randomly on the show but yeah. it's like burned in my brain and i feel like this would be no this could be you so. know f the hoyas okay <laughs> this the, the the tool man taylor right here i'm gonna just go get a home improvement sticker and put it right there on the on the on the box over the jump man logo but yeah i think that that's cool though man that actually makes me want to wear these more mm. and it also makes sense why they're leaning a little bit because when he always f***s up and <laughs> I can get down with that. Storytelling, folks. It sells sneakers. You're welcome. These guys release on the 20th, I believe. That's actually. a Saturday, so it makes sense. But then again, Jordans drop every day of the week, so... <sighs> Yeah, there's these Jordans that I am interested in, but they're Team Jordans. Okay. And the the release date got pushed back or whatever. They're not Team Jordans, like basketball Team Jordans, or just like they're not an Air Jordan. They're a lifestyle Jordan. But uh, anyways, these shoes got pushed a couple times, but they've released overseas already. And people trying to sell this sh for like 250 plus, and I'm just like, dude, like that's how you know that this space is full of people that don't know sh. When they're taking a shoe like that, and they're like, these are limited and rare. I'm just like, dude, they're about to whore the. F out of that colorway and you bought them things because you think that you could resell them that's why you all have to join our discord or soul savvy yeah or both or, or don't <laughs> like if you're that person don't join no i'm saying like if you're a real one oh no doesn't... yeah if you'd like to stay away from all that f yeah and then come with us man like we stay away the f away from that sh i couldn't believe it when i saw that yeah man newbies it's cool if you're a newbie just don't be a dumbass are you gonna cut that out well 
Just don't be one ever. Well, sometimes you can't help it. Sometimes, <laughs> you know, so, sometimes you're a dumbass and you don't mean to be. It's just that you just don't know. Learn to apologize. Don't be an asshole. That's different. <laughs> you know, being a dumbass can be okay. Just, you know, teach yourself, man. You don't buy those kind of Jordans to flip. That's a clearance shoe. They'll be on the hash wall with no lid. Give it like three months. Those are not to flip. Those are to rock casually, bruh. Ain't nothing limited about them things. Or rare. I was dumbfounded. That smile means keep moving. <laughs> when you see teeth and a little bit of gum, that's when, that's when you know she's like, hey, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so that pretty much takes care of it. Like I was saying earlier, I believe that these release on the 20th. Retail price is 190. Good luck if you're interested in a pair. I hope that everybody that actually wants one to wear them is able to grab them. If you're not, head over to our Discord or to the Soul Savvy Slack and we'll be able to help you out somehow, some way. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support and until next time, guys, have a good one.